have literally given me a complete definition <laughs> and the problems and all the informations about it. Another thing that I always want to do, this is a very common issue we all have, is something that um, can, um, I know uh, one should forgive easily. But forgive whom? <laughs> forgiveness, basically. I, it's, it's like a common issue. Um, but no. it's hard. No, no, no. Okay, come on. I know what you're going to say. See, right now, when do I have to forgive you? First thing is, I criminalize you for something. Then I'm trying to forgive you. Why this problem? I don't criminalize you, I just accept you the way you are. Where is the question of forgiveness? Yes, yes. We're simply complicating life. But yeah, but when it comes to forgiveness, like when people no, but ask… but why is forgiveness needed? First of all, I must criminalize you, isn't it, yes. to forgive you. Yes. I don't criminalize you, you do what you want with your life. Why? Because that's what you know best right now. If you knew better, you would have done better. So you are doing what you know best. Why do I have to criminalize you in my mind and then forgive you? This is an unnecessary complication in life. I don't forgive anybody because I don't criminalize anybody. But it's hard when it comes to forgiveness, it's hard for, for humans basically, in general. So that's why I really want no, to… I'm know. saying forgiveness not needed. Not needed at all. First of all, when I don't accuse you of anything, where is the question of forgiving you? When I accept you the way you are, whatever you are. There's okay? no need of forgiveness. No, I, I don't care what you are, whatever you are, I'm okay with it. That's the way you are. That's how human beings are, all right? So people get into this thing because they have unrealistic expectations of… out of people. Because their expectations are unrealistic, they will criminalize somebody else in their mind. And then one day they will forgive them. Don't play God, live with it, nonsense. <laughs> Except people the way you are, you are not a perfect human being, so is nobody else around you. Accept them if you can transact with them, if you can deal with them, if you can do business with them, if you can have a relationship with them, fine. If you cannot, no, you leave them alone. I wish everyone could think like you, Sadhguruji. That's why it, that makes you very different and we seek for helps and we seek no, for No, I'm things. saying you're unnecessarily creating a complication in your mind and struggle with it forever. Because once you criminalize somebody in your mind, how much ever forgiving uh, acting you do, it's not going to be cleared in your mind. True. <laughs> True. Thank you so much for this. And another thing that I wanted to always find out or figure out, uh, something to do with spirituality. Is there any way or a certain path that you can follow to become um, or to have uh, an awareness of what is a way, what is a path towards uh, spirituality if someone is trying to look for it? See, spirituality is not an ideology of some kind. It is not a set of moralities. Nor is it going to the temple, church or mosque. Spiritual process means this. This body, you accumulate it over a period of time. You are not born like this, that's what I'm saying. You slowly accumulate it. From where? From the food that we eat, all right? Whatever we accumulate, we can claim it's ours. We can, if when we say it is me, it's stupid, isn't it? It's like saying my… these clothes are me, these clothes are mine is okay. These clothes are me is madness, isn't it? So this body is mine is okay. This… this is me is madness. So, if you understand you have accumulated the body, you also understand all the content of the mind you have accumulated. So what you see as your psychological stuff you have accumulated, your physiological stuff you have accumulated. But what is you? That's not it coming to experience. When that comes into experience, we call it your on a spiritual process. I find that bit a little hard. Personally, when it comes to me, because I've tried a lot of things, we all on a day-to-day that. That's a whole problem maybe, you're trying a lot of things. <laughs> this is like, uh, <laughs> see if you, wa if you want to strike water in this land, you must dig in one place. If you're digging in ten different places every two days, you dig in a different place, you will have a lot of holes. 
but you won't have water. True. But I, a lot of people have advised me, you know, when it comes to, you know, getting there, you have to get into doing meditations and stuff like that. I somehow subconsciously, um, when, even when I try, you know, being part of it, it somehow doesn't bring me into that space of what I'm looking for, <laughs> you know. So I you really must, uh, have… You must come and do some inner engineering. That's what I wanted to. I, w I was coming to that. I really want to do an inner engineering uh, with with you, um, where I can figure out what the cause is, uh, what what I'm actually trying to. See, it's for. just this: if your body and your mind was taking instructions from you right now, would you keep this healthy and well? Your body was taking instructions. If your mind was taking instructions, would you keep it blissful and joyful? That's all. You don't know where the… you have a supercomputer but you don't know where the keyboard is. This is why inner engineering needed, you must find the keyboard, then you will type out what you want. I'm surely going to find <laughs> it very soon. <laughs> Thank you, Sankuruji. Thank you.